Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a treat for y'all, another good treat. We're Junior's Meat Market in French Settlement, right by the Moonlight Inn. We're having a steak cook-off. Now I want to thank the sponsors, Marlin's Pizza and Big John's Boat Landing and Storage for helping us put this on. Now we got a treat for y'all. It's going to be steak cooking, it's going to be pork chop cooking, it's going to be stuffed baked potato cooking. May the best steak win and Cajun living and cooking starting right about now. Alright y'all, we're just getting things started here this morning and uh, we, got some, we got some really good things going on this morning. I got Jeff Taylor and I got Mike Selassie. How y'all doing? We're doing very well. How you doing? How's it going, man? How you doing? Thanks doing for having good. us out here this morning. Man, you done come out here and cook breakfast, everybody. Tell yes. us what you cook. We got a little sausage and biscuits, and we got, uh, of course, butter and jelly to go on it. Okay. And uh, Junior called me a few weeks ago and asked me, did I want to get into the competition? I said, no, I want to come out here and cook uh, for the, all the cooks yeah. because they're going to be doing all the stuff that they have to do to get ready. They're not going to really have time for breakfast, and I'd rather do that anyway. Yeah. And anybody that knows me knows that this is just a passion of mine. And you love to cook. I love to cook and uh, uh, love to eat a little bit, and uh, but yeah, I'm having a good time doing it. Now, the biscuits was cooked at Mike's. Yeah. Yeah, Mike Selassie uh, here uh, took them over to his house. We can't, we don't have the capability of cooking them on our trailer. Gotcha. And so he cooked them this morning, and uh, good many biscuits, and so we're ready to eat them. Now, the, now the sausage came from Junior's. Come right here from Junior. I told him that if I was going to be cooking here, I wanted to cook his sausage. So yes, he got he it all ready for me this morning, and jumped up there, and we ready to roll. All right. Well, everybody's starving to death. We're going to get some of these biscuits made up, and we're going to start feeding, feeding some people. We're going to get some pits lit. So y'all hang on. It's fixing to get good. That's indeed. All right, y'all, I'm back here with Junior. We also have a jambalaya going on, which we're selling for $5 a plate. And we got chicken, barbecued chicken plates. Now, Junior's been here early since 6 o'clock. Getting this, uh, we got Todd Lobel cooking the jambalaya. And we got Junior Idell cooking the barbecued chicken. And it smells really good, y'all. He's got chicken halves here. And uh, the smell out of that, that's, that's some of the stuff he uses for his smokehouse stuff here. Even uh, that, that good old wood he's got in there. That's it. That's pecan wood he's got in there. I knew that's what it was. Now, uh, things are really getting good. We got people eating breakfast. We got chicken cooking. The jambalaya's getting pretty close. So y'all hang on. We fixing to go to eating here pretty soon. There you go. That's a picture. All right, y'all. I got the main cook here, Mr. Todd Lobel. How's it going? Fine, fine. Now tell me what we got in the jambalaya. Oh, we got a 10 pound of pork meat, 10 pound of saucisse. Uh-huh. Junior sausage. Ah. Oh. And a 10 pound of smoked pork. Uh huh. That's yeah. a 20 gallon? That's a 10 gallon. 10 gallon? Got 13 pound of rice. In uh huh. It. Now, you, right, what you're doing right now is uh, lifting it up and getting, yeah. the, getting all the, any, any water that's left down in there. Right, right. Gotcha. That's a good looking jambalaya you got there. Thank you, sir. I, I, I hear you've been cooking jambalayas for a long time. Yes, sir. Long time. Now, what time do you think you're going to have it ready? Uh, it's, it's there. It's all but there now. I can't do no more to it. All right, y'all. We got jambalaya ready. We got chicken ready. Things is fixing to get rolling. We're fixing to go talk to the cooks now and see what they got going on for the competition outside. Thank you, Mr. Tut. Yes, sir. Here's the most important part. You're going to turn in your pork chop at 11.15. You're going to turn in your steak at 11.25. You're going to turn in your baked potato at 11.40. All right, doing that for the judges to have time to judge everything and they're getting everything hot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get, depending on how many events you're in, you're gonna get a tray for each one. You're gonna have two tickets on it. You're gonna tear one of the tickets off and put in your pocket. The other ticket will stay on your tray. Don't go telling anybody your numbers, that's private stuff. The judges won't know, I won't even know. Nobody will know who wins until it's announced at the end. Uh, does anybody? All right, y'all found one of the cooks out here. Let's get the name and where they from. Medrick Lambert from Prairieville. 
All right, right across the bridge. Exactly. Now, what are you? What events are you cooking in? I'm cooking steak. You and the steak, steak only. Yes. All right. Now, uh, nobody else is listening. What's the secret to your steak? The biggest secret: get a good steak. Get a good steak. That's number it. one. Then you got to have the right seasonings and marinade, and you got to have the right kind of pit to cook it on. How long do you cook your steak? Probably a total of about eight minutes. Really? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to let you get back to cooking. No sun beaming on us. It's nice. Feels nice right now. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Got two more cooks. Let's get their name and where they're from. Hey, Mike Bankston from downtown Port Vincent. Jim Moon, Port Vincent. All right, fellas, y'all didn't have to come far. Oh, no, that's the good news. Now, y'all cooking in all three? Yes. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, now let's, let's talk about the steak first. Now, okay. what's the secret to a good steak? Well, one, it's the marinade, uh -huh. okay? Two is cook it on a hot fire, but cook it just the right amount. Gotcha. Got to keep it around medium rare to get that juice in there, but also keep it tender. Okay. Now, what's the secret to a good pork chop, you're saying? Don't overcook it. You're right. You could dry that pork chop out if you overcook That's it. That's right. And yeah. together maybe on the baked potato. What's what? Y'all got a secret ingredient for that baked potato? Maybe we can't tell or what? Well, we're going to do a, a Greek type flavor. We're uh -huh. going to cut it up in tater logs and uh, get away from the traditional ah. stuffed potato that everyone else is doing. So we're going to do something a little different. May win, may not, but uh, but it's going to be good. We'll gotcha. Good. All right, fellas. Good luck to y'all. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Jared Taylor, and I'm from Santa Mo. All right, Jared. Now, are uh, you cooking on all three? All three. Okay. Now, what's the secret to your steak? Salt, pepper, and nothing else. Gotcha. You're using the steak flavor itself. Exactly. Gotcha. What about the pork chop secret? Oh. What's, the, what's, the, what's the key to Top good... secret government clearance. Can't tell nothing about that. Okay. And the baked potato? Baked potato, just play not to lose. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I tell you what, bro, it's uh, some good smells coming from right here. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to wish you good luck and hope to see you on the trophy room. I'm going to be there. Thank you. All right, y'all. Got another cook. Let's see where he's from. Jaron Crotwell from Front Settlement. All right. Well, you didn't have to drive far either. No. First driveway on the left. Gotcha. <laughs> you cooking in all three? All three. Yes. Dang. Yes, sir. Now, uh, what's, your, what's the key to a good steak? Uh, good sear and uh, don't overpower the steak with too much seasoning. and keep it kind of basic. Gotcha, gotcha. What about uh, what you can you say about the pork chop? Pork chop, I uh, like to put a little sweet component to it. Uh, gotcha. Something a little, little sugar, a little, little pineapple okay. or something. You know? Gotcha. And how you gonna decorate that potato? Uh, I'm doing a seafood stuffed potato. Dang. So. Did you go with the brown or red or the sweet? Uh, brown. Brown. Yep. Yep. All right. So. Well, I can't wait to see We're it. This see. is gonna be good. We're this is gonna see. be good. Yes, sir. Good luck you. to you. All right, y'all. Got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. George Mathern from Friends Settlement. All right, another local from right here didn't have to drive far. No, now, what are you cooking in? I'm just cooking in the pork today. Cooking in the pork division? Yes. All right. Sweet. That's a, uh, that pork's kind of touchy, just like a steak. Now, uh, tell yeah. me tell me something about the pork chop. Tell me what you're going to do or tell me something uh, about it. I'm going to go for luck this time and just hope, just season okay. it up and go with it and hope it comes out good. Hope you it's the some, one. You got some kind of secret ingredient you're going no, with? No, not really. Just, just putting the basics on there and hoping for the best. Got you. Got you. All right, y'all. We're going to move along and check some more, and good luck to you. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Marlin's Pizza has two great locations, one in Prairieville and one in Santa Mo. Dine in, carry out, or delivery. That's right, y'all. Seafood delivered free to your home or business. Shrimp, oysters, catfish, and frog legs. They also have po'boys, spaghetti, fried pickles, homemade onion rings, salads, and 100% pure beef burgers. Marlin's Pizza Dough is made fresh every day. And this is the only place you can find the Lamex Pizza. And oh yeah, y'all, don't forget about that seafood muffalata. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy-duty welded steel deck 
professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, All right, y'all, got two more cooks here, and let's get their name and where they're from. I'm Paul, right here from Port Vincent. I'm Greg, right here from Port Vincent. See, everybody's local in this, y'all. We got some local uh, flair on this thing right here. Now, what y'all cooking in? We got all three. We steak, uh, uh, pork, and potatoes. All right. So we're now, doing them all, and we're going to beat everybody here because we don't care. That's what we like to hear. No, no, no. We This is for fun. I ain't yeah. never cooked in the competition before. Guys on the end are neighbors, so we're just out here having a good time. Well, tell me a uh, secret to a steak. What's the secret, secret to a steak? Hot. A good thick steak, no lot of seasoning, a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. Yeah. Hot, sear it, medium rare, rare, boom, done. Gotcha. Let All it right. sit for 20 minutes before you eat it. What's your flavor for your pork? What you pork? going with? Ah, pork, I got a brine mine last night in a normal brine, and then I'm soaking in some apple juice right now. What? And then uh, what? seared them on the pit. I'm doing my uh, pork chops on the pit uh -huh. and my steak in a cast iron skillet. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, for the baked potato. Baked potato is secret. Secret. We're baking it on the thing, and then we're going to stuff with crawfish tails and, you know, every little everything, cheese yeah, and this other, you know. Yeah. A little this yeah. and a little that. Little we'll, have it, we'll have it going. Gotcha. All right, fellas. Good luck to y'all. All right. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all. Right, got two more cooks. Let's get their name and where they from. Chad McCrary from right here in Coyale. Uh, Alan Gray from Central. All right. Now, what are y'all cooking in? Steak and the pork. Steak and pork. Awesome. Now, tell me uh, tell me the secret to your steak. Tell me. Uh, season it and just right temperature to cook it. Yeah, yeah. Temperature is your main thing yep. on that. Yep. And uh, and the pork, what what uh, can you say? You got, got a little secret flavor? Yeah, you got... I got my own sauce I marinated in and put on the pit and cook it, and that's about it. Everybody don't want to give up all the secrets, so you got to kind of <laughs> dig secrets out of people. Now, uh, may the best steak win, and good luck to y'all. Uh, thank you. Thank y'all. All right, y'all, got two more cooks. Let's get their name and where they're from. Mike Brignac from Bear Island, living Prairieville now. All right. Kevin Guitro from Head of Island. All right, now, y'all, this is pretty interesting. They're cooking against each other, both in the steak division, but they're cooking on the same pit. So that's friendly fighting right there. Now, uh, y'all probably got different techniques or different styles. Who wants to tell me uh, what's the key to a good steak? A good steak to me is uh, medium rare, not, uh -huh. not over-seasoned. Gotcha. And what would you say? Yeah, I got a little special uh, marinade I put on it, and I uh, do them like medium rare. And, All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Maybe add a little smoke to it, you know. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. About how long do you think you're going to cook your steak on that grill? Uh, if I get the coals hot enough, it'll be about 10 minutes. And you? About six or seven. Gotcha. And that's funny. We're using the same grill, and they got little bit variations on, on the way they're going to do it. I'm going to make his, his coals cold. for. If oh. he's going to cook 10 minutes, I'm going to chill them out. Well, I'm, I'm going to put a little eye on the way. Don't pour no water on the coals before I put <laughs> mine on. <laughs> All right, fellas. Good luck to y'all. All right. Thank, thank you. you, man. All right, y'all got two more cooks. Let's get their name and where they're from. Um, I'm Joshua Collins from Walker, Louisiana. And I'm Jordan Collins from Walker, Louisiana. All right, fellas. Have y'all cooked in competitions before? This is my first. Okay. This is my first. And this is the first annual steak cook-off, so maybe you'll come back next year. I plan on it. Now, uh, on it. you cooking just steak? Yes, sir. Now, bone tell in. me tell me something about the steak. Tell me a little secret about steak cooking. Well, it's a uh, bone-in ribeye, 21-day aged. Uh, it's from here at Junior's. Um, that's usually what I cook. I cook gotcha. either either ribeye or bone in, and I try to do the aged. And uh, I try to use a heating element. Uh huh. Instead of, instead of uh, okay. uh, lighter fluid uh -huh. to keep that fluid taste out of the 
the, the, the meat. Gotcha. Yeah, you don't want that lighter fluid flavor. Right, just charcoal and a little bit of uh, pecan or apple wood on top of the coals, uh -huh. and that makes it come out really good. Gotcha. You got a secret marinade or secret flavor you put in? It may be a secret, huh? I, I've got a... Uh, <laughs> I believe that less is more. Yeah. Uh, salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, um, olive oil. That's basically it. Sometimes I'll throw in a little sugar. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, y'all. People's letting up some of them secrets here. I'm going to wish y'all good luck. Thank you. Thank y'all. Hopefully we'll bring home the All right, y'all. Got two more cooks here. Let's get the name and where they're from. Uh, Richie Martin. I'm from right here in French Settlement. Adam Martin. I'm from French Settlement, too. Now, this is a father-son, but not on the same team. Correct. Uh, he uh, called me out when he first seen Junior uh, advertise this. He come home, and he called me out, and he says, uh, hey, I know I can do better than you. He says, so, hey, let's get in it. And I said, all right. That's fighting words underneath the same roof there. <laughs> now, uh, y'all cooking just steak, so t tell me your secret to your steak. Uh, huh? It's real secret, huh? Yeah. It's just a marinade. You know, it's, gotcha. There's no really, no big secret to it. Gotcha. He hadn't learned it yet. Okay, what's the secret to your steak? Just making it better than his. <laughs> That's what I want to hear, a little smack talking on some of this cooking, y'all. Hey, I'm going to wish y'all good luck and may the best steak win. Well, the dad always wins. You know, he, you know, uh, he got to teach his son, teach him right. Got to do it. Hey, fellas. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, brother. All right, y'all. Got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Earl Harris, French Settlement, Louisiana. You didn't have to drive far to get here. No, gotcha. I'm here. <laughs> gotcha. Now, uh, you cooking in the steak division. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, tell me the secret to your steak or the secret to a good steak. Mm. Well, I'm just going to cook mine like I would cook if we were at the house cooking it. Gotcha. No secret. Um, just put it on there and put a little seasoning on it and get mm -hmm. it where I think the judges will like it. And basically out here for the... For the fun and yeah. all that good stuff. So. Yeah, we even got a band. I know, they good. Too. We got a little fiddle and a little yes, uh, chank a chank going. Uh -huh. Now, uh, how long you think you'll be cooking your steak on the grill? How long? Uh, about four to five minutes four on each side, gotcha. maybe. All right, just man. depends. Well, good luck to you. Appreciate it. Glad y'all coming out. Thank you. Put us out there. All right, y'all. I got another cook here. Let's get his name and where he's from. David Rosto, Prairieville. Now you out here supporting Fred's? Oh yeah, yeah. Fred's Amusements, Fred's on the River, yep. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Now, uh, you cooking in all three? All three. Now, uh, tell me the secret to a good steak, Mr. David. What you thinking, what you'll be your secret on a good I'm steak? I'm gonna show you right now. Cajun music and Cajun spices. Ah. I cooked the Cajun steak. You even you got the music to go with it. I even got the accordion player and a fiddle player <laughs> just to give it that extra little flavor, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So that's the key ingredient on your pork chop and your potato, too, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. You smell that crab ball going yeah, on? Yeah, I smell that. that. I smell yeah. that. You got huh? some good flavors coming out from underneath yeah, this tent. That's right. I need that wind blow down towards them judges a little bit. Yeah. All right, Mr. David, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. All right. We'll be right back after these messages. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Ascension Troll and Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Have you ever run out of money before your next paycheck? Car quit running? Electric bill due? Time to pay rent? If so, call Quick Cash of Gonzalez. Let Kim Cruz Paraloo get you back on track with a payday loan. 
Quick Cash has been giving $50 to $300 loans since 1996. Most loans are approved in 15 minutes or less. Family-owned, fast and friendly service. Remember, when you need cash quick, call Quick Cash. Located in LeBlanc's Plaza near AutoZone on Burnside. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood needs. With seasoning, sauces, dips, and trays. Local way meat river catfish when in season. Dungeness crab, shrimp, frog legs, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, and fresh cooked cracklings. Crawfish season is now in full swing. Come by and get them. Live or bought. With prices that can be beat. At Hole in the Wall Seafood. All right, can I have y'all's attention? Yes, sir. All right, y'all. First of all, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for participating. Let's have a big hand for all the cooks. This is the first annual. We will do it again next year. All right. Here we go. We're going to start with the potatoes. Third place on the potato. And the winnings is $25, is ticket number? 120. 120. 120 on the potato. 120. All right. Come around this side. Hey, that's my next door neighbor right there. That's my next door neighbor. 120. Put a camera? Yeah. All right, y'all. All right. Second place for fifty dollars is number one forty one. One forty one. Look at here. Come around and get a shot. Yeah. All right, y'all. Good job. Congratulations. Oh my, somewhere around here. All right, y'all. Third, pl first place now for the potato, and it's winning seventy-five dollars. The number is one twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. All right. All right, y'all. Third place in the pork. Is twenty-five dollars and a trophy is number one twenty-six. One twenty-six on the fork. There we go. All right. There you go. Congratulations. All right. Second place for fifty dollars and a trophy is number one forty. Number one forty. One forty. One forty. Y'all get a picture. All right. First place in the pork chop division for seventy five dollars. And a trophy is number one thirty five. 135. 135. All right, well, when that shows up, we'll give it to them. We're moving on to the big stuff now. That's the whole reason we put it together right here. This is for the steak. Third place, $50, is number? 124. 124. 124. 120. Oh! Another award. Another award. I'm left handed, right there on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Second place, it's $100. What? And the winning number in the stake, second place is? Second place is 144. Mm. 144. 144. All right. 144. Sweet. 
to get your photo op right here. Good job, bro. Thank you. Let's do this drawing before we do the last one. All right, y'all. This is the people who cooked in all three categories. We did it so honest, we didn't know which one they was picking and what number they were. So the people who cooked in the three categories, we're going to draw a number, and we're calling it the Junior's Choice Award. So this is going to be, this is going to be for the medal. So go ahead and pick us a number out of there. And the number is? 120. 120. All right. Look at there. Put it on for him. All right. Good job, good job. All right, y'all. All right, this is for the big trophy right here and $150. For first place in stake, the number is 147. 147. Look at here. Y'all, that's some good, they had some hard job for them judges, I'm going to tell you. All of this stuff was close, very, very close. So we're going to check out some of the crowds, maybe we can talk some of the winners here in a minute. Good job. All right, y'all, got the number one potato and the number three in pork chop. Man, uh, who you want to thank or what you want to say about this? A top secret government clearance fork didn't come through. No, no, the old tater did. Old tater did, good. You, you, you now big tater. Top tater. Top tater, y'all. That is nice. And, and this was fun, bro. Y'all gonna come back next year and do it again? Oh, of course. Yeah, we're gonna be here for sure next year. All, All right, fellas. Same spot, Appreciate same you. place. You coming? Can, you know it. Congratulations. Right, like to see. Thank you. y'all. Right, got the number one steak winner right here. Congratulations, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Now, now, who would you like to thank for this, or what would you like to say about this event? Uh, I'd like to say that uh, it was it was an amazing event, a lot of fun. Uh, I really thank Junior and everybody for putting this on. Uh, he's got a great meat market here. Winning steak came from this shop right here. All so, right. Yeah. Good stuff. Congratulations, man. Thanks. You'll Thank be back so next year? I'll be back. All right. Back. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. Heck of a show. Heck of a show. Really nice. Good turnout. I'd like to thank everybody that showed up. I'd like to thank all the cooks. I'd like to thank Junior for putting it on over here. I'd like to thank Marlin's Pizza with two great locations, one in Santa Monica, one in Galvis, for being a sponsor. And I'd like to thank Big John's Boat Landing and Storage for being a sponsor. And I'd like to thank Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Baton Rouge for making some signs for us. And the rest was really just fun. It was a great time out here. Y'all come to Junior's and get some of this steak, pork chop. He's got hoghead cheese. He's got everything out here. Thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Y'all check us next week.